Hello and welcome back to episode number, I think, five for Scorched Earth. First of all, first off, uh, I would just like to say a massive thank you for the unbelievable support this series has got so far. I'd like to welcome all the new subscribers as well. And if you're not subscribed and if you are enjoying the series, go on, hit that subscribe button. It's completely free of charge and maybe a like as well. So since the last episode i've not done anything i didn't want to best continue the world without you but i have been trying to basically think of different ways to get around the problem that we're going to face and we all know what the problem is going to be and it's this little thing here the sriguero fruit it's food the minute i stop the minute i stand still and settle down basically is the minute i'm going to start to really struggle for food uh because if you if you think of it basically like a radius so a radius surrounding this basically little campsite that we're we're going to be building here each time i go out in a radius you know around this campsite and i pick up the fruit and stuff the following day i'm going to have to go out even further and the following day even further and to that um there's no guarantee the tree's gonna even grow as well it's got eight days and i honestly don't know if it can grow in these temperatures now i have had quite a lot of suggestions uh one suggestion being basically from uh per and uh, my other half flame was basically to build upwards so to basically go upwards build somewhat of a sky platform now shut up you dumb trader um now basically the way vintage story works as everyone knows basically the higher you walk, the higher you go up the colder that you get so that is an actual a feasible idea and it's probably something we're gonna have to do if we ever get far enough to build in a farm it's gonna have to be some sort of sky farm it's gonna have to be a sky farm um now when it comes to other stuff uh well let's have a look at our inventory now we have placed a few things inside with the trader and stuff and yes, I did make the massive mistake of when I had the baskets, I didn't chop it down. And a few people mentioned it in the comments as well. And I kind of kicked myself afterwards because we do have the flint knives. I could have cut the baskets down to get the cattails back. So yeah, I'm kicking myself a little bit from that. Um, but yeah, in today's episode, we obviously, obviously need to start with food and stuff. I'm going to basically try to collect up a plenty of actual bricks and stones around this area as well and uh and then we can have, early on we're gonna have to make a decision on the tree do we leave it to um to try and grow and where's our tree i think our tree's over there do we leave it to see if it will grow bring my map yeah so the tree is over here do we leave it to see if it will grow or um do i basically make a decision now and basically pillar up make a basically a dirt platform and place it down there almost like guaranteeing that it will grow at this moment in time the temperature is already 47 degrees and it's 10 o'clock at night so we're going to be crashing past that 50 odd degree temperature um yeah hmm now the only mods that i have in this game are basically is the is apaches accessibility tweaks which basically just brightens up the night for you so you can actually see it on youtube otherwise everyone knows vintage stories night times it is completely completely black and you can't see anything and um, this doesn't affect mobs so drifters can still spawn and anything else like that can still spawn so it doesn't affect the mobs at night but it does affect so i can at least see and you can at least see what's going on right um i honestly don't know what to do first to be honest so we have a tiny bit of grain and we have 26 fruit um i'm going to take this opportunity as it's relatively quiet and it does say uh, uh, the rift activity is currently medium i'm going real chance we're going to go out and we're going to collect a bit of fruit we're going to obviously keep an eye out for any bad guys or anything like that. But we're going to try to collect as much fruit as possible before the uh, before the daytime comes. And we really need to be making sure that we're checking out every single ruin now. Uh, without a shadow of a doubt, it has to be um, it has to be like top of our agenda. Any ruin that we see, we have to be investigating it. We need those sticks. Uh, i can't just rely on the tree 
I think just relying on the tree was is always oh we got mo. Mm. Here on mole. We'll keep it's it's, it's the drift it's the rift you see. Yeah, we'll keep away from them. It's been a, it's been a few days since but it's been a few days. It's been a bloody week. Uh since the last episode. Uh do we really want to go towards that with the rift there? Yeah, you're gonna be asking for trouble, you just check out oh, it's a bit too close on my liking to be honest no 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 not gonna do it i am obviously very very aware um of drifters and whatnot oh we've got some oh i didn't even know there was chests back here that's super helpful actually so i'm gonna Drifters over there. I need to keep an eye on them. They keep on spawning and despawning. Um, mm, I think that might be a ruin over there as well. Give me a map. Mm, it doesn't show anything. But right, let's basically store a little bit more stuff inside here. So, oh, our 11 fire clay. Oh. Uh, cattails, we'll get rid of the grass as well, and we'll chop that off as well. Actually, no, I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna keep some of the bones just in case I need to make another knife or another axe. And we're gonna use basically we're gonna keep our axe as our main weapon, uh, as you can do uh, quicker damage with an axe. Uh, you can do quite a decent amount of damage. Quick. Oh, whoa, 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 and we're off. <laughs> There's no rift around, so I'm gonna say I feel justified basically, but by standing outside there, um, I had there's no rift around, so they're all the way around the actual trader at the moment. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, we're gonna go down here. <laughs> I came from nowhere, did it? <laughs> Oh my god, there's hyenas! <laughs> my god. Okay then. Oh, more hyenas. They're asleep. Uh, okay. Okay. Right. Breathe, Andy. Breathe. Okay, we're gonna go... Um. Okay, we're gonna go this way. Because there's nothing this way. Because that's the way we're gonna go. Now with the fire clay that I've actually got, uh, we should have enough to make. Um, oh my god! Are they all? Are they? Oh no, the, the thingies. <laughs> I thought I thought they were hyenas. They're not the the boulders. The hyenas are all red, though, aren't they? Just watch yourself. Oh, wow, wow, Andy. Jeez. It's like the number one dumb award, dumb award goes to me, I think, at the moment. We'll mature in about eight days. Oh, get out of town. Oh, my word. Seriously? Give me a break. Right, so we'll collect the... Um, We'll collect the ore. Looks like it's a bit of brown coal, a bit of black coal, probably. Yeah, a bit of black coal, good stuff. I think I'm going to collect these as well. I think it's important um, me trying to basically get as many blocks now.
so that's completely emptied now so we got oh we got two and a bit stacks of shale cobblestone let's cut a bit of stand there six six stairs and uh, a few slabs as well so uh, yeah really really happy with that wowzers yeah now we are obviously making our way for, get rid of that again there you go I don't want you now obviously we are eating quite a bit of food again so we're down to 15 of our current stash so make sure we're still collecting our square fruit when we come across it we'll check out this ruin here be nice to get a bit of grain to be honest would be nice is there anything in this one hmm let's check around make sure there's no hyenas on our doorstep have a little look see the revolution is and i think i'm just going to actually leave uh this here I might as well try to pick up these as well. Um, there's nothing else I want to throw. Obviously, we can um, we can store things back with the actual trader now. So we'll 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 make our way back over to the trader. Hopefully, there's nothing around the trader that spawned. Trying to see if I can spot any saguaro fruit as I'm traveling back. And then I want to check the um, I want to ch check our sapling to see if it's reduced if, it, if it's come down in days or if it's still saying eight days. I want to give it at least a couple of days to see if it will grow from that grass in this temperature. Um, but if we're not seeing that that number go down to maybe you know, either seven days or six days, I think then we really need to consider uh, moving it someplace else. So we're going, we'll go and check on our tree. Want to keep an eye on those hyenas as well. Got eyes in the back of my head. a lot isn't there didn't realize there'd be so many let's have a look it's raw mature in eight days still saying eight days come on back up and back up back up back up back up back up Right, so what is the time of day today? So it is half past four. So night will be falling soon. Decision we made. Do we do a platform? And I think I am leaning on the idea of yes. So you. Let's get some blocks out. I can control my own I can, I can I can control my own spawn levels you see then if I have my own platform well, you can come out as well and you are going to be used to dig upwards right so how close can we build to the trader oh, there we go that's close enough right I might build height. No, no. I thought I was at build height for a second. Down to 50 degrees. So we've dropped 7 degrees and coming up quite high. Might as well just um, place down my whole sand and then I'm going to build a platform. And I've got my little stones with me. Yeah, I've got my little stones so I can make sure it's not going to be... Um, spawning area all right shifting yep i'm shifting there we go and i also want to make sure that you can go on there and you can, can come in here so i can alternate there we go there we 
There we go. I don't want to twitch whilst being up here. So we'll do another two. One, two. And we'll do one more. There we go. And we'll go out the other way. Right, so that's an okay sized platform for me to just walk on. We can do a few bits and pieces here as well. Now I'm going to put down. Oh, do we want to. Um, yeah, yeah. I think we're doing it that way instead. So if we place you there, that way we can do it that way. <gasps> God, Andy. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna give myself an heart attack. <laughs> Tell you something, this series is not good for your health. <laughs> no, you don't want to make a knife. Right, back up, back up. Make sure you're shifting. Now, obviously, this is the low fertility dirt that um, I dug out on top of the mountain that time. Oh, let me just stretch my fingers out for a second from crouching. Right, shift button. <laughs> I don't want to get cramp in my little finger. Be ashamed to die, you know. There we go. You, you, you. There we go. I want to make sure. One thing I didn't, one thing I actually didn't check is, um, actually, did I check it or not? I'm not too sure now. Uh, I'm obviously making a hole. Now, I don't know if you actually need sticks so you can use the bones. I'm hoping you can use the bones. Otherwise, you know, we're faced with the same problem with the trees. There we go. You, you. And we'll get you out as well. Shift, there we go. Right, so. We've got a decent amount of... We've got a bit, bit, we've got a bit of a platform here. So we're still okay for food. We still got our 13 grain as a backup, and we've still got 16 Seguero fruit, which we're gonna to have to have a bite in a minute anyway. Uh time of night is it? It is now half past seven at night. Um I think it'd be a good idea to should I use all the low low, low fertility. Temperature is it now? So it's gone down to 45 degrees. Hmm. <laughs> Did that make you jump? Because it made me jump. <laughs> oh, God. We were nervous right by the time this is finished. Uh, right, so. Okay, we've still got the idiots down there. Um. I think I think I'm just gonna you know I, I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna just gonna sit down here and just take a chill pill. I'll uh, I'll catch you in the morning. How about that? <laughs> so a um, few interesting little facts. So I built myself a little structure. I couldn't be bothered just sitting and staring at the stars on that. So I built myself a little structure. Now it's all completely spawn proof. I've got basically the little stones on top of the roof and everything. But the interesting thing is this. Now, as the night progressed, basically, it got colder. Now, I don't know whether it got colder because I was inside this room as well, or just because we were high up and it was getting closer and closer to midnight, but we're down to 33 degrees. Now, is this because of this shelter, or is it because um we're just basically high up and it's we you know it was dead you know it's night time and that type of thing so i don't know it's quite interesting now i need to go back down mm, you have to yeah i need to go back down oh god the hyenas are there oh no oh no this has happened before as well the Seguero fruit only lasts a couple of days, unfortunately. So if you combine, which I did. Damn. Yeah, so they're, they're, that's just rotten. 
So I've got my grain this morning to keep me going. So we're going to have to go back on the hunt for food yet again. So let's... Um, I want to I, I want to see basically whether it's here, whether it's this. <laughs> that's, that's, that, that's cool. At 34 degrees. So it's going back up again. What about inside here though? There's no way of knowing, is there? Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna get myself back down again. Oh god. Alright, let's go this way. I'm gonna be going away from the uh, from the dogs. Let's see if we can find anything around here. Could do with finding a food vessel to be honest. That would come in super helpful around about now. I think I've already investigated this one. Pretty sure. Let's have a quick diggy. Pretty sure I've investigated. Yeah, okay, I need to have some more. So what's that? Oh, it's food, thank God. I know, I know, I know. I'm eating. Shut up. Right. Okay, it's more grain, but it is better in my belly than in a vessel. Well, let's see if we can get some Seguero fruit. An interesting little thing about Seguero fruit, I only found out this recently as well. From my um, my good buddy, Kozar. <laughs> uh, it gives you a slight regen. It actually gives you a, um, a slight boost of regeneration. What are we going over here? I know we got water, but... Need... Um, we kind of need to grow our fruit. I don't any fish inside here. Any fish? Any fish? You can eat fish raw, you see. It's one of the few foods you can eat raw. Oh, it's one of, it's one of the few meats, if you want to call it, that you can eat raw. It's basically like, it's like sushi. Well, I can see a square fruit in the corner of my eye. So we're going we're gonna to go over there. No, there's no fish there. Let's just keep on our toes. And pick up the cigarero fruit. And hopefully we'll just we'll just we'll just coast around here. But I can see another one on the little bit little hill over there as well. We really need to be picking up some food now. However, we're still giving that tree what another day to maybe grow. Right, we'll, we'll pick that one and we'll pick that one as well. And we'll see how we're doing. Oh. oh, seriously, dude. I tell you, seriously, I am, I am, I am. Oh. Hyenas as well. I am more of a danger to myself than any hyena ever will be. Oh, God, seriously. There we go. We could get back to double digits. I think now we've oh, we got a few in front of us as well. Like three in front of us. So as long as we're not, we're not running, we're just walking. It should be fine. He said. Famous last words. I hate it when they start running. You know what I mean? Because you automatically assume they're going to be running towards you. Right, I need to think. I need to get to the tree. We need to check out the tree. Oh, this is for nothing. <laughs> yeah, you stay there. Down to seven. We'll mature in five days. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. We might be in luck here. Right. Um. Okay. Okay. I'm still happy about that I've done the platform because I'm going to be planting food up there. Seeds up there. Because once we have our stick, we are basically rocking and rolling. I need to stay away from those hyenas and those hyenas behind me. Right. So let's make our way back to um the trader to be honest i think we're gonna make my way back up to my platform 
and basically just wait out a night because that's all I'm going to be doing at the moment is waiting. Got 16 Seguero fruit. We got six grain with another. Stay over there, you little mangy mutts. And we've got another 15 grain on us. We're okay for like a day or so. I'd say. So I think we'll finish off the episode at the top of the world. In our little um God, it's, they keep getting closer. And I'm not don't run. <laughs> Let me just chat. Oh wow, I dropped the block. Don't drop blocks, idiot. Alright, come on. Alright, let's let's let us let us go. So guys, hope you've enjoyed today's episode. You can breathe now, the episode is finishing. So we've got five days left. Five days left. And then we may or may not have a train. If you've enjoyed today's episode, like, comment, and subscribe. All the usual stuff that we asked for. And I look forward to seeing you again really, really soon. All right, guys. Bye. Bye for now. Bye.